What can I help you with, Lord of Darkness? I'm looking for a date. The date is Friday, July 13th. No, no. I want to meet someone. <laughs> Understood. You want to eat dim sum. Don't you get it? I want to go on a date. I'm lonely. I understand. You want bologna. Ah, I need to get grinder. <laughs> Blah, 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 it's TVB. I'm here today to review the third Hotel Transylvania film, Hotel Transylvania 3, which uh, is another sequel to the 2012 film, uh, Hotel Transylvania. It has Adam Sandler and Selena Gomez and Kevin James and all those other, you know, the, the Drac pack come back for another Hotel Transylvania film. And this time, you know, Dracula's really stressed out, so he and all his buddies need to take a vacation from running everyone else's vacation. So his daughter Mavis and her husband Johnny find them a cruise, and they go on a cruise led by the Captain Veronica. I, I'm really um, so so I forget the captain's name. I'm sorry, but you know, you've seen her in a trailer. She like oh. Drac is lonely, he falls in love with her, but she has like sinister plans to kill the monsters or something crazy like that. So Hotel Transylvania films for me have actually been pretty, they haven't been bad. Okay, the first, Hotel, the first two Hotel Transylvania films, I enjoy both of them for what they are. They're just harmless, family friendly, you know, colorful, fun filled, just, you know, kitty adventures. That's what it is, you know, it's got monsters, kids love monsters, I love monsters, and there's just, you know, it's just, there's just an hour and a half of just passable, you know, whatever fun, you know, not, not masterpieces by any means, but they're way better than a lot of other films Adam Sandler's been a part of in recent years, get out of my face. I mean, the voice cast has always been great. I mean, Adam Sandler, again, it's just a good role for him, like, Dracula's all, I, I've always just liked him as voicing Dracula, I've always liked Selena Gomez voicing Mavis, and the animation, I've always loved how the Hotel Transylvania films, they've always just embraced this, like, oh, like, it, they're so, like, self-aware and how, like, cartoonish and how, like, wacky their characters' movements are, and it lives up to that, and it lives up to that again in this film, I do give it props for that. It's just so distinct from other animated films nowadays. And yeah, so I saw the trailer for Hotel Transylvania 3. I actually just got watching the second Hotel Transylvania film last night. I was playing that off, and I realized there was really nothing else to see. Ugh. Sorry to bother you, it's not in my area. Rip. But yeah, I just said, you know what? Screw it. I'm seeing Hotel Transylvania three. You know, I saw I saw I saw Hotel Transylvania two the other night. Not as good as the first Hotel Transylvania film, but I still enjoyed it. And yeah, because I had optimistic expectations for for this third Hotel Transylvania film. I went into it with hoping it'd be good because the trailer entertained me. And again, I've they've this the, these films have been solid in the past. So yeah, after seeing it, it is again what I thought it was gonna be. Just another hour and a half. Of just harmless family friendly fun and that's that's I can really show this film as but that's that's not the best quality for a film when it can just be summed up by just harmless family friendly fun because yeah it's fine if it is but it should be try to do something more than that you know guys like it's just it can't just be like a brain killer for an hour and a half like it's got there has to be something else going on I like how it, it this film it, it's setting the setting is not in the hotel it's in it's on the water it's on the cruise and I liked and there are plenty of jokes about this film not gonna lie I was snickering and laughing at this movie <laughs> there were definitely some funny moments throughout this throughout this film like you know when things are just happening and you know just oh it's funny oh, there's a monster oh there's a fart joke there's a pee pee joke it's like it's nothing you haven't seen before and yeah there are subplots like their son Dave like Dennis and like his little like werewolf puppy friend like they just like they have the they, they sneak their puppy tinkles on, onto the boat so yeah that subplot happens which you know it tinkles he's cute and he, enormous you know I saw I saw the short film before the emoji movie I knew he was gonna be in this movie and oh boy <laughs> yeah there's plenty of those like silly little moments around here in those films and again subplots there, like you could, there's a. I mean, this is pretty common anime movies nowadays. You know, just random subplots for no reason. Yeah, there are those movies. There are those subplots in this film, but it's not like it does. They barely get focused, so it doesn't like detract from what's happening. And again, it's just it's harmless. Okay, I enjoy myself while watching Hotel Transylvania three. That's all you guys really need. Like, if you're a parent and if you're wondering what to take your kids to, you know, if you want to see this film, like, just. Yeah, you're not going to regret it. It's not going to be one of those movies that's going to like make the kids laughing their heads off for an hour and a half and have their parents just going to be like, oh, being a parent sucks sometimes. No, it's not It's not one of those films. I'm really happy for that. I can't really say that 
Summer Vacation is better than the first Hotel Transylvania film. I feel like Hotel Transylvania 1 just had, like, you know, the most layers to it. If you guys know what I'm saying, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it was, it rose above the whole, like, you know, just the silly family-friendly film expectation that, you know, we had going above it. But, oh no, I can say, it, it's, this film is fine. Like, I'm gonna give Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation a 6 out of 10 stars. It's a passable film. So yeah, I'm out of this dorm on Saturday. I'm gonna be down my uncle's place for a week again. And, uh, yeah, I, am. Um, I saw this movie on Tuesday again, because, you know, Tuesday discounts. Money's been really tight for me lately, and... I don't really think of myself as a cheapskate, but you gotta ask yourself sometimes, just what would a cheapskate do? So, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel, please. And my name is TVB9, and I'll see you guys later.